My beautiful people, my beautiful people, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another lovely episode of the Logic Over Emotions podcast slash reactions. It's your dog, your brother, man, your favorite African-American, Melly, baby. Now, on this episode, man, I wanted to talk about something very near and dear to my heart. Adult Swim. Growing up, man, uh, didn't have a lot of friends that were really close and everything. And Adult Swim, Cartoon Network, WB11, you know what I'm saying? Those were all the things that were like my friends basically when I was a... A young lad and all that so I found this video from this gentleman he goes by the name of uh, internet pit stop and his title is why you remember adult swim so I would love to hear his reasoning as to why and to get my comparison contrast let me know how, how much did adult swim impact you why do you remember adult swim so much why is it such a nostalgic thing to you put that down low in the comments man those are the new welcome uh, please co like comment subscribe spread the channel man roll the 10k subs love and appreciate y'all <sighs> so much man let's get to the intro let's get to the fun so recently on tiktok there's been this trend of making these cool videos with these and this was during this oh no you did it oh no you did it off the hip damn i got my man travis barker behind me Man, but I'll tell you something. My favorite one, my favorite Adult Swim. Oh, man, there's so many, bro. A show, man. There's so many shows like Aqua Team Hunger Force. And oh, my God, bro. There's so many. Bro. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I'm excited about this one. Chill music that end with this AS logo, obviously inspired by bumps from Adult Swim. <laughs> That little edit was the whole reason I spent way too much money to buy this shirt. Hope, hope you liked it. <laughs> it's easily one of the coolest trends I've ever seen. Yeah. Right up there with hands down was lung cancer from cinnamon. But also seeing as my channel was heavily inspired by Adult Swim to the point where. And so was mine actually. That's exactly. What, it's funny because you could tell the Adult Swim influence on a lot of people's content or a lot of people just in general from the humor to the things that they like to watch or the manga or the games they even like to play sometimes and for an example when you go to my outro you'll see why for those that are new of how big of the Adult Swim is just to me you know where I make my own little bumps at the end of my videos I figured why don't I break down why it is we remember adult there's so many reasons so what is adult swim exactly well to talk about that we have to go back in time to 1992 a man but yeah i was born baby yeah i was born october 9th 1992 yes sir the name of ted turner would create a channel block called cartoon network and at this time it would only rerun old Hanna Barbera cartoons. Oh, you know, shit like man. the Flintstones or the Jetsons oh. or Scooby Doo or that little Scooby Doo that you didn't really like and kind of annoyed the shit out of you. Yeah. And at times you just kind of wanted to fucking God. strangle him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> was it Scrappy? I think it was. Or, or is that just me? <laughs> this is all Cartoon Network was up until the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Lazo appeared. <laughs> No foe. Listen, also, if y'all can too, man. Um, if you, can, I would love to talk to this brother right here, man. I would love to know like what soundtracks that I could use that are very Adult Swim relative on the platform. So if you can, man, try to like spam his comments, man. Say, hey, man, yo, what music do you use? Ooh, I would love to know, bro. Or bro, if you watch this, man, I'll tag you in everything. Number one, fire pants, fire Burberry pants. That's number one. Number two, uh, I would love to know, love to know, bro, what you use. Before Adult Swim's official release, Lazlo would work on animation mostly for adults. Space Ghost. Because no matter what those bullies uh. I totally did not have would say, animation can be for adults. Yep. That's right. Fuck you, Louis. And the that was me too, yeah. <laughs> would be Space, Space Ghost, Ghost Coast to Coast. I love saying that shit. And they made it by taking the animation cells or frames of these old Hanna-Barbera cartoons I mentioned earlier oh, and kind of reimagining them and retooling them into basically creating Look a at whole this. new show. In this case, they oh. took an old superhero show that didn't do too well called Space Ghost and completely reformed mm -hmm. it into this 
parody talk show where a washed up superhero and friends have these parody interviews with celebrities. It Can made- I also say this too, man? Can we give a round of applause to those animators back in the day, those artists back in the day, man? I don't think y'all understand how hard it was for them back in the day to create what they created, bro, compared to nowadays when you can literally just scan certain things. You can, you can literally draw what you want, scan them, and then do whatever the hell you want with it, for example, right? There's so many different applications, so many tools you can use now to become or to have your own kind of animated channel nowadays. Like, it's so crazy. And um, got to get my hats off to them, man. Because a lot of them, I also went to school for, I went to school for graphic design. And it's funny because they were saying like we, were, like we were the last dying breed of those who actually love to have realism drawings as well as do realism art on the graphic uh, design aspect of things, you know? And it's so like th- those people are legends back in the day that did it. They're legends, bro. Because a lot of y'all don't understand how difficult it was to do that. It was so it was difficult and so time consuming, especially those from manga artists. Oh my god! Oh, it was, it was ridiculous, bro. Interviews like ridiculous. never seen before. Kind of like this. Identify yourself to the universe. I'm Internet Pit Stop. I'm from YouTube. Uh, where Where are you from? I'm from outer space, home of the universe. Oh, okay, that's cool. Uh, well, what do you want? Oh, well, uh, I was gonna <laughs> ask. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Space Ghost was so important, not just because it was the first of its kind, but also because it was it's the comedic. first sign of Adult Swim's type of humor. Mm-hmm, the that comedic, subdued anti-humor or oh. the surrealist humor. Which would go on to not only inspire other creators, the Eric and Andre show named oh. Space Ghost as its biggest inspiration. Oh, can I get another? <laughs> the Eric Andre show. Oh my gosh, man. But also, I think, inspire the later viewers of Adult Swim. Basically, I'm only kind of funny because of Adult Swim. Soon enough, Facts. other shows were created in the same reimagining way. A, and by oh, 2001, man. they were all aired together the Borak? on the first broadcast of... <laughs> to the edit of the water. Yep. Oh, there's the shot! This was the ad that... Hey, no, play it back! Play it back! No, 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 no. Play it back! Oh, that music, bro. Listen to it, y'all. All kids out of the pool for adult swim. Ah! This was the ad that was played <laughs> late at night, right after Cartoon Network was done airing. It's Bro. cartoons mainly for kids. It's basically a bunch of old people at a pool doing pool-related oh, activities. Man. I'm so glad I got the experience. Basically this. telling the little shitheads to go to bed because it was the adults' time to watch cartoons. And they would have these little signs of like, uh, warning, strong mm-hmm. language, uh, caution, sexual innuendo, caution, limited animation, no diet. I see what the, I see what the New Balance is too, my boy. You listen. I know this is year old, but you you listen. Even the fit, you was killing them the fit too, my brother. Give you a little round of applause for you two family. You was killing the fit too, yes sir. Ahead of it, ahead of your time, my boy. Ahead of your time. No kids. You get the point. Now, from here, it might just seem like this was just Cartoon Network's version of Nick at Night, where they would air more adult related stuff towards night. I'm sorry, Nick at Night couldn't compete. But nah. Adult Swim would become so yeah. much more than just that. For starters, oh. Adult Swim had such a wide variety of content. It would air shows that were either canceled <laughs> oh, by other Cowboy, programs, Futurama, or shows oh. that were so unique they couldn't exist on oh, any other Oh, I remember him too! Adult Swim. It was Adult Swim that played a hand at blowing up shows like Futurama or Family Guy when other broadcasts canceled them. Yep. I don't think you could find another broadcast that would air something like Loiter Squad. <laughs> Yo, bro, I'm, the, I'm, I'm about to cry. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This brings up so much good memories, bro. This brings up so much good memories, bro. Oh, my God. This was such... Oh, man. Why you got necklace? Why you my house? Why you my fireplace on my dinner? Put my mama house on fire because she didn't let me cut it. 
it was Adult Swim and Tanami that played a huge oh. hand at showing more mature G Gun, the Yu Yu Haku show. Wider Tenchi Western Muyo. Audience. Trigun. Trigun. Star, oh! Samurai Champlu. Yes. A big O. And of course, the first being Cowboy Bebop. They Yo, so many people really don't remember a cat. Uh, uh, not cowboy. I'm sorry, Big O. People don't remember that. Like it's so insane to me sometimes. Like, bro, we we were in the we were really in the golden age of anime and cartoons. We really were in the, in the golden age, bro. Like I don't know how Saturday like Saturday morning cartoons are a thing anymore, bro. But yo, I don't think y'all understand what it was like to wake up and like just turn your TV on and watch like Yu Gi Oh, watch Sonic watch Mega Man Network, watch the other Mega Man, watch so many other shows, Poke, oh my god, bro, I don't think y'all really understand, bro, it was such an insane feeling, man, and I really hope the kids nowadays do get a similar feeling, I hope they really do, bro, because I believe everyone deserves to feel that feeling we did when we saw those shows, bro, like, Cartoon Network low-key still had it from, like, uh, even to this day, they had it from, like, Chowder, to Foster's Imaginary Home, to, um, Oh man, excuse me. I'm I'm, I'm getting a blank here, man. Um, like I I I love Camp Laszlo. Uh, I don't know if you remember Cole Lyoko. Uh, bro, there was so many Zach 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 Bell, Rave Master, Rave Master really opened the door for me. Soul Eater from back then. There's so many shows. Naruto when it first aired, bro. There's so many. They would also use oh. their pre-commercial breaks or bumps yeah. to introduce you to musicians or mm -hmm. underground hip-hop artists you shout out to killer mike man before. mf doom oh the legend jay dilla hold on i'm sorry y'all the legend mf doom rest in peace man the legend man killer mike you probably should learn how to fight how to box karate or something because times are getting hard, and I'm thinking mugging is going to make a real big comeback in the next few years. And of course, the one and only Flying Lotus. I was living at my mom's house, and the only TV I would watch I was Adult Swim. I would, you know, get up, you know, Saturday. Aqua Team Robot night, Chicken. Night, oh, uh, Tim and Eric. Before I watch, get high real quick, watch all the cartoons, and um, they, they had a little blip on saying, uh, yeah, you think you got some beats, huh? <sighs> you got some track him over. You know, it seemed like the next week I got an email asking for a track list. Oh, on that soundtrack. That was the him? And the first the first thing they played, they made a promo for the boondocks around one of my tracks. Well, no way! Hogwarts legacy. When you arrive at Hogwarts, you will be sorted into one of the four we also going to play Hogwarts, too, so y'all be in tune for that. That's when we're going to start streaming again. Follow me at M-E-L-L-Y, the third. Melly, the three, R-D. Follow your boy, man. We have a lot of good content on there as well. That was that was his song? Wow. I don't think people... Bro, I... I, I ha Where is it? Oh, my God. Like I have the song saved. Bro, but, but, but they, they, they like took my stuff down on, on, when I was like putting it on YouTube. But that song is my favorite song of all time. Like when it comes to like, like nostalgia, nostalgia, that song. Way, man. The only TV you watch, you know, you hear. A lot of you artists, man, understand, bro. A crazy geek moment. They created a space for a lot of artists yeah. who maybe didn't have a chance anywhere else to have that chance and introduced us to some of the coolest shit we'd ever seen. Adult Swim could be seen as a big reason why people now love adult animation or mm -hmm. anime or why so many of us are obsessed with underground hip hop or I still call... chill lo fi hip hop oh, beats to relax and study. To. I still uh... All because the Adult Swim team love themselves some Jay Dilla. And I'm sorry to be paused so much. This is so fascinating. Um, when it comes to games, I call myself. I make two characters always. Like in Lost Ark, I have a character called Tenchi, and I make a female character called Muyo. I always do that. That's because of Adult Swim, bro. There's so much. Like Adult Swim made me want to become an artist. Adult Swim made me want to just just spread a positive vibe to everybody around me. 
Like, I remember telling my mom, I was like, if I ever get rich, I'm going to thank every single person who's ever had a positive influence in my life. And the creators of Toonami and the, the artists, I wanted to meet all of them so bad. I still do want to meet them to, like, just, just, and just thank them. Because they don't understand, man. A lot of kids, man, when, 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 when being a kid, you know, a nerd, a black nerd, whatever nationality you were, it was hard back then, bro. It was really hard back then, bro. And to be able to come home from dealing with that nonsense and then hearing hearing the soundtrack of Tsunami, staying up late, Adult Swim, bro, it felt like this safe space of just, oh, man, it was just, it was, it was a beautiful thing, man. It was so beautiful. I miss it every single day. I do. And it's just, oh, man. She gonna make me cry. Some Mad Lib dog. and some new jobs. Make me cry, man. And put us onto those artists. Basically, me and a lot of other people have Adult Swim to thank for yeah. literally shaping our entire personalities. <laughs> because that's why Adult Swim was so different from other channels. It had yep. a connection to its watchers. Using those bumps, they'd give you stats about mm -hmm. shows you liked or. Inuyasha. Oh! Downright just converse with oh! you tell you things. I remember this bump of them paying tribute to the late and great Jay Dilla by naming some of the best hip hop producers of all time, all of them being Jay Dilla, but just different ways of saying Jay Dilla while also playing some Jay Dilla. Adult Swim really felt like your cool older brother that yep. was introducing you to all this cool shit you never heard of before. Mm -hmm. It had its own little atmosphere or dare I say, Vibe. Nah, facts. Facts. The most impactful facts. memory I have of Adult Swim was, of course, sleeping on the couch and then waking up at. That that's not a regular couch. <laughs> Three a.m. Thirsty as fuck, but this time it wasn't my pseudo big-headed father bouncing in slow motion with his family on the TV. It was Cowboy. Bebop. Yep. And as I was having my mind just altered and blown by the show, I would then experience my first adult swim bump. Mm -hmm. And right here, let's break down exactly what a bump is. There were these small segments that would play either in between a show or right before a commercial break or after a show, and what they were usually varied. Sometimes they were just these weird pictures of uh, a garden or uh, a barn or street lights to they're beautiful some of the most photos, fire by the beats way. you've ever heard. The aesthetic of these pictures were as creepy and eerie as they were interesting and intriguing and they felt like these little moments of bliss as you're just looking mm -hmm. at the picture and listening to this amazing music and yep. you wished always that they could just go on just a just a bit a longer. little bit longer like, yeah i find it really fucking weird <laughs> right there that pictures of this right here this right here is the picture that i will never forget right here that is it right a there. baggage room or uh, lights from japan or uh, this endless stairwell just live in my head completely rent free sometimes these bumps like i said earlier would just be adult swim talking to you personally yeah. or maybe they'd even be telling you to go to bed because they knew your ass shouldn't be awake right now because it's fucking 441 yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> no man come on man absolutely right man it really like he said it earlier very well it felt like i was talking to my responsible older brother that's what it felt it felt like my responsible older brother was taking me on a journey every single time every single every single time at night he was saying like, "Yo, come with me, man. We're gonna go. We're gonna go out on the town, for example. I'm gonna show you around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you meet some of the homies. I'm gonna have you meet some of the, the ladies, and we're gonna have a good time. You know what I'm saying? That's what it felt like, man. It felt like every single night was just such a rememberable experience. And man, I, I man, I, I I owe Cartoon Network so much, man, because." Those people that did this, man, Cartoon Network, Tsunami, Adult Swim, they were literally me. We are we are literally them. 
we we were one and the same, man. We 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 they, they understood us. We understood them, you know, and that's that's what it truly truly felt. We we felt like we were understood and we were being taught a lesson from those that understood us the best, especially those that didn't feel as if we were wanted in the world for those that felt like we were shunned upon or were weird or different for for reasons we, we couldn't really comprehend, you know, and um, fabulous, fabulous video so far, my brother, fabulous video, which is the exact time it is right now of the filming of this video. <laughs> Again, another pat on the back. <laughs> I'm I'm fucking tired, dude. Don't 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 drink that now. Oh oh lord. Oh 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 lord. Don't oh, don't drink that. And they also had these terrifying ass bumps that would horrify your nightmares forever. Mhm. Mm they did have some weird ones too. It felt like Adult Swim made these to scare off the kids from watching the program. <laughs> Uh, I remember that too. <laughs> yeah, that, that 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 didn't work. I was a young shithead at the time, but it didn't stop me from watching the channel. Sure, I had some shit in my pants, but I was still completely intrigued to what was going on. And those contrasting feelings only added to the personality and vibe of Adult Swim. Yeah. It made it feel like you were entering this weird portal into a weird-ass different dimension. Yes, it played Amazing Anime and The Boondocks and Aqua Teen Hunger Force and Family Guy and Futurama and all that other shit your mom didn't want you watching late on a school night. It wasn't the shows that aired on the program, it was the program itself. Mm -hmm. The fact that it would talk to you, these little bumps, everything that gave Adult Swim its personality. That's why people are mimicking these bumps and it became a huge trend. That's why at the end of my videos, I make my own bumps that I don't think anybody watches. Wilson <laughs> played shows that no one else would. It inspired me as a person. Yeah. It inspired so many other people. It took what it meant to be a TV channel and elevated it to a whole new level. I agree. It had its own personality. That's why we remember Dolt Swim. Phenomenal. Phenomenal, my now, brother. While this trend is cool, I advise you to go down to the description where there are playlists of these old bumps I was talking about wow. earlier with the picture and music all attached. It Very good job, my brother. Very good job. It's a blissful, chill part of the internet. It's just a bunch of nostalgic people reflecting on times gone by. It's kind of crazy yeah. how a vague picture you barely remember and a J Dilla beat can make you reflect on your whole entire life. <laughs> Much like those Dragon Ball Z Lickin Park AMVs that I talked about in this video, I want to make sure that we hold Those on nice to cargo these pants. bumps as a part of history and they don't just become lost media. Because it's such an important part of growing up with Adult Swim, it's all part of an era. Thank mm -hmm. you to Mike Lazo and the team at Adult yes. Swim for yes, basically you, shaping man. people like myself's personality and thank you for introducing us to Geniuses, so many man. things we'd probably never Geniuses. see otherwise. And most of all, thank you all so much for watching this video and of course thank you so much hey to the hey stop hitting the corner that. of the internet peace hey let me tell you something bro this is literally the first video oh no nah, okay Hold on, hold on. This is actually my friend's uh, profile picture too, which is hilarious. And let me tell you something, brother. This is my first video I've seen of, of yours. I don't know who you are. I have no idea. But you deserve this, and you deserve this. Can we get a round of applause? That truly, 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 made me very happy man man 
I know you don't know me, family. I know you have no idea who I am, man. I'm just an up and coming YouTuber, bro. But to all you gotta understand, bro, I've been meaning to react to your video uh, for a while. Seriously. And I was trying to find the right time because because the nostalgia factor, it plays such a big part on me, bro. Because of the simple fact of like, I went through a lot of stuff during those times. I went through a lot of dark times, you know? I know a lot of you did too, man. And it's one of the biggest reasons as to why I'm the way I am today. Promoting peace and love and unity and absolute balance and understanding the other side and just understanding that the person that you might be calling weird might not just be, he might not be weird. He might just be something you don't understand, or somebody you don't understand, or she might, you might, he or she is not understandable yet because you haven't spoken to them, you know? So it's, it, it's, it's, it, it put my life into such a humongous perspective of just chill, bro, think, uh, respect everyone kind of thing, man. You know, I have, I've met so many great friends because of it too, man. It's, it's, it's phenomenal, dog. It's absolutely phenomenal, man. Man, internet pit stop, man. I hope you see this video, man. We can have a nice little conversation, bro, because I think you're absolutely phenomenal from not only the editing aspect of it, but from explaining it the correct way as to why we love Adult Swim, man. Love and appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all for stopping by. Do me a favor. If you don't know me, if you don't know Internet Bishop, uh, Pit Stop, excuse me, Bishop, whoa, <laughs> Pit Stop, sub to both of us, man. But if you want to really sub to him man because that this this video man I, I ain't gonna lie i almost cried i ain't gonna lie to y'all i almost cried L like a baby almost did i swear to goodness man so many good memories bro and e e even my mom and dad even they are aware of adult swim because they under they understood how important it was to me and they let me stay up late they said when it's over melvin you gotta go back said, all right man no problem because they understood if you want to stay up late man that's on you you'll be tired you got to deal with it you got to learn and I, I appreciate my parents for doing that because eventually I stopped staying up so late. I stayed up late certain times, but not all the time, you know, because you're still a kid. But man, man, I, I, I miss it, man. I miss, I miss it. I miss it. I miss it so much, man. But oh man, oh I, man, I hope y'all enjoy this, man. It's boy Millie, man. If you're, if you're new, man, please like, comment, subscribe. New, old subscribers, whom, whomever you may be, man. Uh, Let's try to get this video up here, man. I would love for this video to blow up, man. Because, uh, my God. I, I, I gotta put on a thing. Um, Adult Swim saved my life. And I gotta put why you remember Adult Swim reaction f f from the homie, Internet Pit Stop, man. Very good job, bro. I really I really did enjoy this. Like, like no funny. I enjoyed the hell at the heck out of this, man. Great video, family. Uh, Shwoy Melly, man. I'm signing out, man. And per usual. Peace, love, and keep that drip immaculate at all times, baby. Stay easy, breezy, beautiful, sexy, amazing, awesome, elegant, inspirational, healthy, but most importantly, drink water, my friends. Road to 10K subs is a new goal. We we are going to get there. I have no doubt about that, man. I am, again, uh, non-deserving of all of y'all being a part of this community, wanting, wanting to be a part of this community, man. It, it's It's... It's surreal to me because I'm the only person that anybody that I know is getting paid to do YouTube. I'm getting paid to talk. I'm getting paid to, to be myself, to, be, to, to get, voice my opinions and have great conversations with all of you. And eventually I would like to plug y'all in as well too to get into these positions as well too because I feel as if being able to be free while being yourself and gain money from that is truly not the American dream, but the dream you know love y'all man so much man peace and love bow until next time y'all have a great tuesday man stay safe peace love you <laughs>